the shoes and the entryway are a complete mess. My priority right now is just to make it a functional space. It's just been really hard to keep up with cleaning, which is something I had to learn with three kids. Accept help. I haven't been to an Ikea in a very long time and I had no idea where anything was. So I was just trying to make my way around. Found a couple of things for the home. Good old Ikea instructions. No words, just silhouette people. Guys, your waffles are done. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting project that is long overdue because the shoes and the entryway are a complete mess. I can't take it any longer. Also, today's video is sponsored by Home Glow, so I will share more about them a little bit later. My goal with our entryway, which is back here, I'll give you a closer look in a second, is to one, keep it budget friendly because I don't have a ton of money to spend on this, but I need to start working on it. Um, DIY, so I'm gonna try to you know do a few things by hand as much as I can. I'm a busy mama three, I have a lot going on. I'm working in spurts. There's just like a little bit that's gonna get done today and then we'll do more of the fun stuff in another video. So stay tuned for that. But here is our entryway at the moment. It's a big old mess. Thought I'd show you the reality of it. We always keep our car seat here so that takes up space. That shelf is just terrible, falling apart, shoes everywhere, have like a little rack for the kids there, um, basket for like gloves and hats, our packages always get thrown around here. I have a closet here that has no door, no door. <laughs> so much is getting stuffed in here, like more shoes, backpacks, bags, hats and gloves storage up here for more things so it's just overwhelming to even look at like i'd rather just have that all hiding behind some sort of door or curtain also we do have this light fixture which i don't love but it's better than the last one we had because when we first moved in there was this huge i called it a sea urchin of a light fixture <laughs> And honestly, it was scary and I could not wait to take that thing out. It's like, hey, welcome to my house. We have this dangerous thing above your head. <laughs> so we took it down and we put it on the curb and someone actually came and picked it up. My priority right now is just to make it a functional space. All the fun stuff and the cute stuff, like all of that can come later. Right now, it's just like, what do I need to not have this space be a headache every single time we're running out the door? So the main things I need solution for are the shoes, obviously, that are all over the floor, hats and backpacks. That's getting like thrown everywhere between Jace and Richie. <laughs> there's just hats everywhere all the time. I want hooks and I want a lot of hooks. There's a lot of hooks to put the hats on, the backpacks on coats on also mail and packages so i want like a space for that to go to because right now mail is collecting like on the countertop all the time just want to have a home for everything so so even though we're not getting into like a ton of the fun stuff today i still do want to share my vision board on pinterest of the entryway and like just looks that i like and kind of a few different elements that i've taken from different designs that i'm going to try to incorporate you can follow me on pinterest if you'd like at nicole layla green and i have a board called home and in that board i have so many cool photos for inspiration for every single room of the house so feel free to follow me on there but entryway okay i'm loving these shelves i'm seeing with the hooks it's called a double under shelf hook underneath the shelf i feel like you don't see that a lot a lot of times now it's like the wooden peg with the hooks and i have a ton of those but i want something a little bit different so i'm gonna try to build some sort of shelf like this that has these hooks under it i love these curtains for maybe ideas for like creating a door for that closet like this one's good because the floor is black and white just like my floor there which is kind of hard to work with i'm like okay what can go with that but that looks so good but it's also a big 
colorful risk that I don't normally take. So I don't know. I pinned it because I like it. This is the Ikea Hemnes um shoe storage they've got two different kinds so that's one of them i'm gonna buy a different one that's more like narrow and that's where i'm gonna be storing the shoes so i started to use this rendering app because as i'm thinking through spaces it's so much easier to actually visually see what it's going to look like instead of buying all the things and then returning them like this is the issue i have i always have to see something physically where it is before i get it because then i might regret it blah 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 so anyways it's called planner 5d and i'll put it in the description as well in case anyone's interested also i am no interior designer so like this is not going to be like fully accurate <laughs> Mommy, why are you still not working? i am working i'm filming that means i'm working but we're not fixing that one. that's the next thing we're gonna do but right now i'm gonna show them my plan here's my rendering of my entryway obviously it doesn't look exactly like that this is very very rough i don't know what i'm doing um but yeah so the ikea cabinet will be on the left there um, I'm gonna build out a shelf with pegs. I'll still leave the little shelf down there for the kids area And I thought it'd be so cute to find like a little red vintage chair like a metal red or a green metal chair Something there for the kids like to sit on when they get their shoes on um, That's probably what I'll be able to accomplish for uh, this video. It's a cool app. It's actually really helpful I think that's good. Now Jace is very eager because he wants to help me with this first project we're gonna be doing which is building a, what are we building? Shelf. Shelf for toys. Not shelf for toys. <laughs> shelf for hooks. Not as exciting. But let's get started. Get it. All right. <laughs> Just sanding the tablecloth. Yeah, that's really good. The side, how you're holding it like that. Yeah. That's easier, right? This right, we have finished staining the wood. Actually, I'm gonna wait and see how one coat looks and then potentially add another coat. Kids are now napping. We ran out to the park earlier. That's how you know it's a crazy day because my braid is no longer in my hair. I'm just trying to get my house in order a little bit and thought it would be a good time to talk about today's sponsor, Homoglow, because they can help you get your house in order. I'm having them come on Friday, which is in two days to clean up our house because it's been, it's just been really hard to keep up with cleaning. And I know a lot of you guys out there are super moms and you wanna do everything and you maybe aren't so good at accepting help, which is something I had to learn with three kids accept help for me personally culturally it's hard to accept that because we did not grow up with a cleaning person like that's not a thing romanians do you clean your own house <laughs> and since we've moved we have not had anyone clean this new place so this is exciting they have five star house cleaning services with super affordable prices and it's really easy to book online you literally i did it in two seconds you just go online you put in the date you want someone to come clean and how many hours you need them for, and the time, and then your zip code, and then you'll see all the available cleaners in your area. Everyone is background checked, and you can also see the reviews on there to see what people have to say about them. You can do it for just like one time special occasion, or you can schedule it out, you know, every week, every other week, whatever, which is really nice because anyone I've worked with in the past, it's always like you need to commit to hiring that person forever. <laughs> And sometimes I don't want that. Sometimes I just want a special occasion. Maybe you have a party coming up or maybe it's after a party and you need that extra hand because you are a stressed out, busy mom like me. So take home cleaning off your plate by using Homoglow. Head to homoglow.com slash Nicole Green or scan the QR code to get your first cleaning for only $9. We just got home from a very busy morning at the library to a very clean house. Everything's pristine, which means when I put the kids down to nap now, I can actually relax if I wanted to. I probably won't, I'm probably gonna work, but if I wanted to relax, I could, because I don't have to clean.
So I saw this tray online, but I saw like a green version of it. I guess they're out of stock of the green one. So I might just get it online because I think it's the perfect fit. I just found the display one and I really feel like it's the perfect size. I'm gonna see if they're willing to sell me this. I don't know if they're allowed to. We'll find out. Look how cute these linens are, like this one and this one. But of course, the two cutest ones are gone. That one? Yeah. Okay, that was overwhelming. I haven't been to an Ikea in a very long time. And I had no idea where anything was, so I was just trying to make my way around found a couple of things for the home and did manage to get that shoe tray, the display one. The lady was nice enough to give it to me. Okay. The house is a mess, but I'm ignoring it to build this Ikea cabinet. <laughs> so hopefully this is as easy as I am thinking it will be. Good old Ikea instructions. No words, just silhouette people. Oh god. <laughs> I already like don't want to do this. Okay, so I just posted my video today that you guys already watched last week. I got like super vulnerable in it. I almost wasn't gonna post that video <laughs> because I was like, do I really want everybody to know that like my insecurities? I don't really like people to know that. Um and in the end I'm like Okay, Nicole, this is real. Like, this is how you feel. So just post it and trust in God that <clears throat> this is gonna help people and help you. And honestly, it did because I'm reading the comments coming in and you guys are just so kind and so encouraging. Honestly, I guess I didn't realize that I needed some reassurance from my people, you guys. I just wanna say thank you for receiving my video well, for allowing me to open up and be vulnerable and not feel totally judged for it. It's always like scary to put things online. I still get anxiety before every single video I post. I know, I know, crazy. I've been doing this for like four or five years, still dealing with it. Um, but that's just the life of a content creator, I guess. took a really long time. <laughs> I'm trying to see if it clears the door right now before I actually drill it into the studs. I need to see exactly where I should be placing it because it is so close to that door. Anyways, I still have two more drawers to build <laughs> at some point this weekend before I can fully finish that. I still need to do the shelf. I'm waiting for those hooks to come in and then I should be able to get this all together. y'all you have to excuse my voice because I'm super congested I got sick this week the kids got sick this week it's been a while since I've even worked on this because of all of that but it's fine it's fine we just do bits and pieces as we can I finished the shelf um, a couple days ago I ended up just doing two coats of stain one final coat of like a sealant finish and then screwed in the hooks I got the hooks off of Etsy I wanted like a kind of vintage looking iron hook. So these were handmade iron. I'll put the shop in the description. I just screwed them in, it was super easy. I have six hooks on there so I can just hang a ton of stuff. I did end up switching where I wanted to put the shoe cabinet because if the kids were to open this up, it would bang into the door so it just wasn't the best for functionality. Put their mini coat rack over there with their boots down on the Ikea tray. I put this shelf super high because <laughs> I just like the look. I like the look of a high shelf. It's just different. 
instead of being lower at eye level also wanted more space above to actually hang like our adult coats up there or you know any visitors who come in they could just find a spot hang all their stuff up so there's plenty of space it actually makes the ceiling look a lot higher like Andrea came over the other day and she was like what the heck I didn't even realize your ceilings were that high and I was like they're not that high it's just this hack I mentioned before that I wanted like a little red chair there's no space for a chair down here at all it's it got pretty snug once I put everything in so I got my pop of red by just doing like these two yellow crates and a red one and that's where we keep some of the kids hats and gloves things we have to grab for the winter time or whatever just store it up there and I have like a little bit of space at the end of the shelf there to stick all of our packages that come in like our Amazon packages and stuff which get annoying because they're always getting thrown all over the house and they don't ever have like a spot so now that's the spot up on the shelf I'm really happy with how this turned out. It hit all the things I needed. I'll do a part two and I'll paint it a way more fun color. Or maybe I'll paint this, not the walls. Maybe I'll do this. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. We still need to figure out a solution for the closet door here. Or there is no closet door. We need a solution to this. I'm still thinking to hang a curtain. I love the idea of a curtain fabric just like as a door, but I, it would need to be the right fabric, so. And then like maybe like a mirror right here so I could check myself out whenever I leave the house. <laughs> leave any ideas you have in the comments. Otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration or just had a fun time watching. Um, I don't know what other part I'm gonna be working on in my house next. We'll figure it out. But yeah, again, hopefully we'll get to a part two. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing week. Stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.